Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Atlas. I'm the Radio Man 03. It is awesome to have you along. We got ourselves a, a tiger over here. It's pretty. It's pretty. I've not looked at the level or anything. Oh, there, I got it. Oh boy, I'm a little farther away from the trap than I thought I was. Yikes. Well, did I not shoot it? <laughs> I could have sworn I hit it. Oh, here it comes. Oh, it was busy with the bird. <laughs> Hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. At least I think I am. Uh, that's a female three. Nah, never mind. Too small. Small potatoes. I just happened to see it running around out here. I thought, okay, now's an opportunity. Let's go out there. I could have used my spyglass. I just didn't. You know. Just thought I'd give it a shot and see. We'll keep our eyes open. She was pretty. Very orange. Sometimes I get lucky, you know? You just kind of... It's it's like I said before. It's, a, it's usually a taming of opportunity. There tends to be a tiger out here. When you first log in, it's good to get out here right away and take a look. Because once the elephants get in here and the tigers intermingle with the elephants, then it's, it's just over. You don't have any tigers left. That's how fast it, it uh, runs down. But I thought we'd give it a shot and see. Didn't work out. There's an elephant up there. We got a boar over there. What do we got over here? Is this a, a low-level monkey? That's a seagull. We had a big crocodile, too. I noticed the crocodile. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm seeing boars and stuff down there, so, yeah, it'll be a little bit before maybe we get another tiger to spawn in here. But they're always right in this area, as we as we know, right? That's why we built the trap where we built the trap. That's why we built it here. But I would rather have the doors going in instead of out. They seem to get hung up on the doors when they're pushed outward. Uh, I was just walking around down here, looking at the wall, trying to figure out, okay, just how am I going to work this out? Because I don't know that I want to build this particular wall that we have right now around our village, all the way around the entire penned-in area. Uh, last episode, we were talking a little bit about using fence foundations and coming up with something, maybe a little bit of a different design for the pen itself. It's got to be secure, of course, to keep the our tame safe, but I don't think I have to go to quite this expense for it. I wouldn't mind something maybe made out of wood and looking kind of sort of rustic if, if we could come up with a way to do that. I've got fence foundations, so we could try something like that. But I was just looking at this area right here, and I feel like if I were to bring this over one more block, we should be able to bring this right over to here and kind of fuse it into this. And this would be part of, you know, our wall as well. And then from this point on, uh, we'll do something to kind of turn this into uh, a penned-in area where we can keep Lucy and Madeline, our giraffe Madeline, uh, put her in here, and uh, uh, Ivory as well. She could go in there also. Just some of the bigger animals, you know. And just have a kind of a pen with a, a feeding trough and that sort of thing. Today, what I want to work on, I think, is... I've talked about doing a penned-in area back here, something that would go along the house. What we could do is we could actually run a fence line over to, say, I don't know, right about here. we got to finish these walls off right here. You can see how nice it looks when it gets all the way down the ground. It looks really good. I like having the design in outside like that. If we bring it down to about here, this would be enough room for us to leave our cow and our chickens and put them on roam so that they can just roam around back here. And then I wouldn't mind trying to get a hold of a bull to have a bull in here too. I think that would be really cool. So let's figure out what we're going to do to try to build something like that because we've never done anything like that before. The tannery, I'm, I'm happy with this. One of you mentioned that maybe we could put the apothecary in part of this. The thing is, is I think the tannery would stink so much that you don't want it you wouldn't want it next to something something that you're going to have herbs and spices and things of that being drummed up together on, on a table. I just think the smell would be awful, and that's kind of why we put it way over here. I love this guy. I love that guy. He's amazing looking. So we've got the tannery kind of put together. We put some decorations out, and just, you know, we'll move some crew members 
around the place as well and get them set up with cash and, and larders and stuff where wherever they're going to be so they can reach it and use it and it'd be fun to put one say you know up there and, and maybe one on this porch and, and stuff like that you know just different places we still need to work on the stables some more too and get that ready for um you know uh ecuador and then i was thinking the stable might not be a bad place either to put um uh, squirt or Olfed would be a good spot for that as well i think uh, maybe in the stable we'll see we'll see but let's go see what our options are for fencing i don't think there are actual fences in the game yeah there's these guys right here no what about I, I wonder if i even need to be in there or if i could just do it over here wood yeah there's a wood fence support wood thatch and fiber let's give that a whirl first i think think once we have this in we might be able to do half walls although i don't know if the animals will be able to get out of it or not um hmm the other thing we could try is well we've got nine walls on us i wonder come on sweetheart get me to where i need to go fast she is so fast. She's so fast. So if we were to do... I'm wondering if we could get this to go across here. I'll get it to stick out that way. Now if I do that, I can do that right there too. Okay, so I can do that. That's pretty cool. Let's pick that up. It only gave me one back. Did you notice that? I had nine when we came out here. It gave me one back when I took that top one. That ain't right. Uh, five. Five. Let's go. I'm thinking if I do something like this here and that there. We could work something out for that right there. Nearby foundation support. Hmm. Okay, so there's a thing right there. Okay, so a foundation support, which is kind of weird. I think that we need that, but there, I did it again. Um. I was... We're going to have to build the fence supports. We're just going to have to try. I've, I've never tried those out on here. I've never been a huge fan of them. Uh, I feel like walls get kind of thin. That's why I feel like I need to be a little more creative with it to see what I like or don't like about it. Let's go ahead and grab, well, let's grab some wood, some fiber, and some thatch. Uh, we're going to throw this in here. Throw that, 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 and there we go. And a little bit of meat. We're going to throw the meat right here on Tsunami because she's marvelous. Uh, yes, yes, and then, oh, you know what else I need to do? I need to, uh, I need to check on somebody real quick. She may need food. It's been a little while since we've been here. So let's go check on Fancy and see if she's got food on her. There she is. She's got a level. Oh, she's got plenty of food on her. Look at her. She's happy as can be. Oh, you know what? You don't have any food on you, though, I bet. No, but you do have the trough over your head. This is our new monkey. Uh, melee damage is what we put on them. She's now level 17. Yeah, yeah, there she is. I put her up on the roof there. Keep, keep her a little bit safer, you know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Keep her a little bit safer. All right, door closed. Door closed. Let's go inventory. Wood. Let's make... Uh, I can make 12, huh? Let's go for it. I've never used them before. Let's go see what they're all about, and we'll see if it makes any sense to me. we are fantastic i do enjoy having the ostrich if you guys don't have one you need to go get yourself one because it is really fun to ride around on her okay now if i go number six i can make this a little shorter right hmm it sits up really high and if I do this then? What do I attach to this? 
There's a question. I thought it would just be the walls. I want it up a little bit higher than that. Hmm. <laughs> if I hit Q, what are my snap point options all over the place, huh? Yeah, okay. Never mind. Um... Yeah, these are more for building walls. That's not even on that. It doesn't look like it is. Back in here. Let's see. Is there a fence? There is not a fence. So I don't get it. I think it's so we could put walls outside of our area. We could just kind of start a wall wherever we want a wall. And it goes way up high like that. Okay, so let's try... Let's try to get one in here like so. All right, let's do that right there. Now, if I put this here, can I get that to go down uh, T? I could jump that. It's not exactly going to be... Hmm... I'm going to just go for it. I see it gets really low down here. I think we're just going to have to do kind of a wall. <sighs> I know, right? Get started and I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I apologize. Number six. Yeah, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for a fence. And I think you guys have said in the comments before that there is no... Although we have barn animals, we don't have fences. Now, I did something last episode that I was really surprised at. And it was like a half... It was a half doorway right here. I never noticed that before in the uh, wood doorway half. Yeah, I've never noticed that before. Let me try to work something out and then I'll come back. There doesn't seem to be any good way to do that unless you guys come up with some other suggestion for me, but I just can't get them to do it. And every time I test it, I take one wall down and I had like five or six of them here and it took all of them away from me. So it just kind of stole them from me. So I'm not going to do that anymore. Uh, I kind of gave up on that idea right there. I don't like that. It's just taking my stuff. Uh, and then I'm getting nothing back in return for it. So that's got to be some kind of a bug, right, in the game? Where it's just seeing that and it's like, oh. You want to take that one back, but then it gives me all of them back and they actually disappear on me. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is... I guess I'm going to kind of settle for this right here. Hmm, I think we're going to have a problem back there, though. Let's go around and take a look. We may want to do... I need to be careful. We get the uh, the crocs come back in here on a regular basis anymore. Yeah, right here we're going to have issues, I think, with some animals being able to get up on here and walk along here. I don't think the cow or anybody would jump over this. But maybe what we do here is we... I have a good, good foundation up here. We put a foundation right here and kind of end that off right here. And hopefully that will be enough to keep them from being able to get up this way. I didn't want to do the foundations. <clears throat> Excuse me. I didn't want to do the foundations, but I don't see really any other choice I have. Those wooden fence posts don't seem to be... Well, they don't seem to be working right to me anyways. I don't feel like they're working right. So let's go over here. Let's grab Kodiak back and get him 
little closer to where we're going to be. And we'll do that. Uh, I need to go back in the comments and look for the ostrich names, see what you guys sent in. But we'll we'll uh, we'll get to that. Uh, and I, hopefully, I've got some stone walls on him as well. Yeah, I want a little enough, enough space in here to where they can move around, and then I can do some kind of a kind of a, a little space for them to to be in the uh, the animals down here. Let's get this wrapped up. One more. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. That's nice. It's real nice. I like the way that falls together. It's real nice. Uh, let's grab these guys here. Number six. And we're going to come out from the side of the house here. If anything else, what this is going to do is going to keep our cows and our chickens a little bit safer because they are going to be behind something a little bit higher that, you know, things won't be able to jump over. You know, we've got to think about that too. I really hate to come back and find out that something you know, jump the wall and got after all of our stuff. So this should be plenty of room for a bull, a cow, and a few chickens to roam around in. And let's see, where are we at with this? We're right here. There we go. We are going to have to put some kind of a gate for me to get in and out of here. I think a one wide should work. I think. I don't know for sure. thing is now we can't really see them you know I like to see my tames it's fun one of you asked me why is everybody out on the dock it's just because I could see them all I enjoy looking at the uh, the animals like so and then I need one two three four five six more of those now I could do it this way or I could do you know what would be better Oh, man. I'm too late. That's okay. No big deal. It's just wood thatch and fiber. I got a bunch of it. I think the railings will look better, and we will be able to see through. The thing is, is I don't want animals to be able to see through and think that they want to get to our stuff as well. So if I come down here and I do this instead, that would at least allow us to be able to see in the pen. I think that's a better idea. If we have to, we'll just take Kodiak out and get some more wood walls. We, we are going to have to do that. Uh, drop that. Let's grab whatever we can out of here and make as many more as we can. What do we get? Three. A whopping three. Mm -hmm. That's okay. We'll just take our axe and go get some wood real fast. We don't have to drag everybody out with us. Sometimes it's just not necessary. So we do like so. Like so like that now the question is can I get a half wall in here hmm I don't know let's grab some wood come on Kodiak we just need a little bit just a little bit shouldn't take us about a second or two to get this and yeah, we've got him with us I was kind of hoping that that tiger at the beginning there was going to kind of replace uh Cyclone, but that was not the case. I was also kind of hoping it was going to be a high-level male, which would have been really cool, because then we could tie, do some tiger breeding and see if that was going to be something we could do. That did not turn out to be the case. There we go, and... Let's grab that and grab that. We really don't need too many of these. There's 15. Beautiful. Alright, let's get back on Kodiak. Give it a run back. A lot of seagulls today. They're everywhere. That crocodile's a little bit further inland. He's just sitting right there on that grass. Basking in the sun like a crocodile does. Oh, is the sun going to go down? So, hey Kodiak. We do like that right there. Now, what am I going to do here? Uh, 
Ay, ay, ay. Uh, well, let's put a foundation in. Let's do that. Inventory. I probably don't have enough wood to make like a nice little wood staircase. Oh, a ramp would be good. A ramp right here would be very good. Uh, I think that would actually be kind of beneficial to me here. Let's grab this guy right here, number seven. And then we can just leave the animals up and in it. Go a little bit of a wood ramp. Now, once I get him in here, I really should have a bigger door. But I guess that's not going to be the case. We're not going to be able to have that as well. Uh, let's go ahead and have you just stay put. Let's go over here and let's add this right there. I probably should put another one right here too, just because it looks to me like they'll be able to get up and over this. I don't want them doing that. I don't want them getting out. Um, hello? Something like that right there. That should keep them from getting out. I'm going to go ahead and double this one up like that one is, so it's like that. They shouldn't be able to get out of here now, I don't think. If they do get up here, I don't think they can step over the top of what this is right here. So we're going to get rid of these half walls. I'll take a break here in just a second. And now I'm wondering if there's some decorative stuff, like hay bales and stuff like that. I thought there was. Maybe I'm wrong about that. There we go, just like so. So we've got a pen for our cows. I think I'm going to leave this like this, because I don't want them getting back up on it. I wish we had just regular corral type fencing would be really amazing. There's probably a mod out there, but again, I'm not going to put any more mods on the game. Let's see if we can work out... Woohoo! Snap it around, Kodiak. That a boy. Let's see if we can get our beautiful cow, Rust Bucket here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're beautiful. I think it's funny, if you look at her udders, they look pretty full, don't they? Oh, nothing happened. I could have sworn one time I did that and they just like shrunk. Must have been my imagination. <laughs> I thought for sure they got smaller because I milked her. I guess that's not the case. Oh, she's coming fast. She's an ambitious cow. We'll see if we can squeeze her in through here. I hope we can. And I need to eat. Alright, sweetheart. Can you get up this ramp and through here? Oh, you sure can. Look at you. Behavior. And evil wandering. Oh, oh, oh. Well, she walked right up on there, didn't she? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm thinking what I'm going to have to do here is probably do a door. A regular door. I guess that's okay. As long as we can keep them in here. That's what I'm okay with. This, this is what I want, though. See, I want them to look natural, roaming around. Animals don't just stand still. You know, they, they move about. She should not be able to get through that doorway right now. And I don't think there's many things that actually get through that doorway as well. But I'm kind of curious. She's roaming about quite nicely. If I have to, I could go a second row with the rails all the way around. That would give us a little more of a pen feel, I think, to it as well. Okay, she's up on top of that. Wow, look at her go right up on top of there. Of course, of all the places she's going to go, she's going to go right up there and test it for me. What a gal. 
Hmm. I was just thinking now, maybe what I should do is ramp all of this as well to give it kind of a nicer look to it. And then when they do walk up, she's not going to have that weird thing that just happened to her leg there. Yeah, I worry about my animals. I know they're not real, but I worry about them. Okay, so we've got her in here. Now, let's go see let's go see a guy about a few chickens. Chickens take a while. Oh man, I'm loving the village, huh? This I love how the shield and the light look together. They look really good together. Just fantastic. The light actually flickers off the middle of that star on that shield. Oh, you're hyd dehydrated, huh? Not anymore. Oh, did I did I drink water? I don't have any water to drink. Great Scott. There we go. Beautiful. All right, chicken, chicken, and chicken. Come along. That's it. There we go. <laughs> we do have a male, right? Female, female. You must be the guy, huh? You are. Okay, so... In addition, each one of these guys that levels up, as they're leveling up, everybody here gets a little bit of that XP as well. Okay, so I've got you three with me, and let's grab your eggs. Um, let's grab a door to you guys. I'm going to put a door on it just to be on the safe side. And you know what? I think I am going to go ahead and build a second... Set of rails all the way around that thing. I think I'm gonna do that uh, just to just to make me feel better, and they're gonna be safer. Let's grab that and that and inventory walls. Let's make three. Whatever we can make out of that. Looks like I'm running low on thatch and the the thatch front here. Let's grab a little bit more of that, and we're going to need a little bit more of this as well. There we go. That should do me just fine. There we go. Beautiful. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. We don't want that in there. Okay. Uh, yes, you guys come with me. We're back. The chickens are set to wander. I'm trying to come up with some kind of a little lean-to in here for the animals as well. And then I've got to check to see if there's any kind of decorative stuff we could put in here. Uh, hay bales or straw or something like that in here. We'll see. Uh, but for the chickens and for the cows, just a little something, a little overhang that they get up out of the weather in. Just for, you know, imagination's sakes. Uh, if we do something like this... Hmm... It's going to be a little low for the cows, huh? Well, for the chickens, it wouldn't be too bad. If we did something like that, and like that. And we came back with... We really don't need you there, do we? Now I'm wondering, can I get these guys to go in underneath here? Q? Oh, I can. Okay, so is that going to be the right side? It looks like the white side of that, so we don't want that one. We want the other one. And Q. There we go, just like that. That's exactly what I'm looking for. And Q. There we go. Um, nope, it's the other one. This would be the wrong one. Let's try that one more time. Oh. There we go, and Q. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Number five. And let's go ahead and put this guy right there like that. And there like that. And then what I could do here is I could do this half wall, this half doorway. 
What? Oh, I see. It's either underground or not. So we got to go with the full doorway. We'll just go like that right there. And back to the full wall. Like so, just like that. So now we've got ourselves a little chicken coop that the chickens get into and out of the weather. And then for the cattle, hmm, that could be a little bit of a different story. They don't really need anything. We're in the tropics, so it's warm. Rain would feel good to them. Uh, cattle are typically out standing at night. Uh, dairy cows like to go into a barn at night, but I don't know that that's entirely necessary. We will need a light out here. And I'll be curious to see if any of these chickens actually stay close enough to each other to actually uh, lay a fertile egg. We'll just see. But right now, as you can see, they're just kind of moving about. So yeah, I think I'm going to go hunting for a bull today. Uh, we've seen them here. We know they're here. Do I have my cage in here? I've got my cage. I need some bolas is what I need in order to do that. I would love to get a bull uh, to get put inside the pen as well. A heat wave has begun. Well, I'm going to have to stay close to home, and I need to still eat. I've not done that yet, so let me take care of that. We'll wait till the heat wave's over. We'll get some food in our system, get our, um, you know, whatchamacallit, back up and running again, our vitamin buff, and then we'll come back. But there's a little chicken coop. So I just realized something. My diving platform is missing off the ship. Pretty sure I had a small rail around this ship here. There was a small half rail here. I'll have to look back at some of the older videos. And then our cargo container that was here is gone as well. Because I left this open so the cargo container could slide through here. So yeah, all that is missing off of that ship. Uh, as we come back from our last trip where we have had a bunch of stuff disappear on us. Uh, I'm looking for that ship because I like to go up and get on the diving platform when it's super hot like this so I can go hang out in the water and not be overheated. So anyways, uh, I'll come back. I did not forget the feeding trough, in case you're wondering. I've not forgotten that. And let's grab a little something from here. And they're, boy, they're eating this stuff here. Grab some cactus. <laughs> I know. Yay, cactus. We'll put this in with the animals. Oop, up, 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 up. There we go. I have Kodiak all set to go. I've got bolas on me. I just, I've, I've gone from a heat event now to a fog event. And apparently during this fog event, it's extremely hot as well. There's our door. Let's see here. Uh, number five. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Just like so. Right in, the sh right in the shade next to the chicken coop. We'll put this down. There we go. And boom, boom. Everybody's got a little bit of food to keep them, keep them happy. We'll grab these coconuts too while we're at it. Because they probably won't come back, those coconuts right there. And we'll throw that in there too. Not that they're going to eat it, but there it is. Just in case they want it, they can have it. Now, I want to go see if I can find me a bull. Uh, I'm kind of curious if I can even get out of here with him. I've got ramps on me, so let's go ahead and get something set up just to just a temporary thing here. To get in and out. There we go. And I've got bolas. I made a bow and arrow. And I made some more bolts because we were down to just about zero crossbow bolts. Alright, and out we are. Bingo, bongo, boingo. Oh, I'm going to need ramps here too. There we go. This is going to change. It's going to be a little more grand than that right there. I just wanted to... Uh, we just need something that we can get the animals if we do wind up getting a tame here. Some, some way to get them up onto the land. We're going to have to get rid of this here crocodile. This crocodilian's gonna have to go. He's gonna die. He's running away. We'll leave him be. Yeah, he ran away from me. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can find ourselves a bull. We could probably use one more cow in there. Maybe two more cows, just to give it more of a stockyard feel to it. We'll see. 
Oh, you know what we could do? We could put the hogs in there. I just don't want it to get too crowded, you know. We could put the boars in there. Oh, what? Speak of the devil. I don't think it really matters what level it is. As long as we have one. Oh, you know what I need to do? What is a bull's preferred taming food? Oh, gosh, I don't know. Um, let's take a look and see here. Rushes. And then vegetables, and then fruits. Uh, huh. Rushes, vegetables, and then fruits. Okay, so... Vegetables. I'm getting just jute here. Okay, so we know we've got a bull out here. I need to get some vegetables, though. It's gonna, otherwise it's gonna take forever to tame him up. He's gonna, hopefully, we, we, I know I can put a cage over him unless they've done something to change that. I'm picking up some berries too here just to have with us. Um, what do we have here? Basil. Does that count as a vegetable? Consumable, doesn't say it's a vegetable. Wild chickpeas. That's a vegetable. Alright, so we've got vegetables. All right, where'd that bowl go? Isn't that weird? I mean, we literally took our eyes off of it for just a couple seconds and it's gone already. He's here somewhere. I wonder if he went out over the rocks and got himself out here it doesn't look like it what's this here time time not uh, uh, careful there he is there he is there he is okay all right let's see if we can do this with the cage I'm pretty sure I've done this once and the cage fit over the top of him just fine. There we go. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. I'll pop back up again. Oh. Okay, he got himself loose. I think he did. Let's try it right here. I think we got him. Looks like it. Okay, let's try that right there. Uh, you. I'm gonna put you on passive, which I think you're already on, which is a no-no. We need to drop our monkey. Get the monkey off our back. Behavior. Passive. Okay, and you've got a level, and you know what else you need? You need some berries. Let's get, uh, let's get her some berries. I don't know what it is about the females, but we just, uh, it seems like everybody we capture is, is female. It just seems that way. All right, let's go ahead and drop this into here. And let's grab our bow. And some arrows. Again, we're not looking for a high level one. We're just looking to just to have one. Uh, that would be the wrong tool. Oh, oh, what's this here? Oh, wait a second. We got a, like a lion or something over here. Didn't even see it. It could have killed me. It's stuck in some rocks, I think. <gasps> Level 20 female tiger, huh? Hmm. Let's try this and see what happens. Oh, bolus. God, 
I do not like the fact that I've got everybody on passive and we've got Hmm, there's going to be the whole trick about how are we going to get the bola on it? Eh, never mind, it's dead. Okay, so that takes care of that, but now I've got the idea to get this tiger over here. We could draw that tiger over to the cage. That would be really great. Even better than a bull right now would be to be able to replace... Um, What's her name? Cyclone. How am I going to do this? How am I going to get that lion down here to the taming pen? Um, I wonder if I go shoot it in the butt. I'm never going to get back here fast enough. There's just no way. Hmm. Give me one second. Let me think about this. Alright, let's see if we can get Ecuador to help us out with this one here. Sun's getting ready to go down, which is a bummer. Maybe a shorter episode. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But if we can get this tiger, that would really be uh, fantastic. Let's go inventory. Let's get our crossbow. It's got a little more range on it. If we can get a look at this tiger, maybe if I shoot it, it'll come actually after us. And then we could do the ring around the rosy thing like we did with Cyclone and get it to follow us into the pen. Oh, or we could just do this and it's already loose. Oh, it's fighting with a dang elephant now. Dang it, dang it, dang it. <sighs> yeah, that elephant's gonna mess it up, man. Ah, oh, I killed it. Can't get out of K-Mode. Can't get out of K-Mode. Oh my god. I'm gonna die here. Come on, what is going on? It's not working, it's not moving, it's getting stuck. Ugh. One of you mentioned the horse was better at getting uh, berries. There we go. Left click. Yeah, all right, so that's a bus too. Dang it. Oh, man. I just can't win today. Uh, well, fortunately, we didn't lose Ecuador. That's a good thing. Holy cow, that was close. But yeah, unfortunately, we lost the elephant. There's the, uh, the croc is back. But we can't tame the crocodiles. Okay, uh, plan, plan C. I guess we'll go back after a bull again and see if we can get a bull. I cannot leave these doors open. That is a huge mistake to do. All right, I'll be back again. Now, come on, what are you doing? Horse is acting weird.
goodness gracious. You just you just like go in your own direction here. I don't I don't understand at all what's going on with this game lately for me. I'm thinking now that instead of the cage, maybe we try the other approach that we did like with the ostrich where we hit the animal and let it just uh, kind of hit us back and then we uh, we tame it up that way. Let's put this in here. Uh, let's go ahead and put this bow down here just so we have it. I don't think I actually have to pull the arrows down to it, but let's go and do it anyways. It says we've got 45 shots on here. So this guy right here, I'm thinking, oh, he's an 18. So I love how it says a male bull. <laughs> what else would it be? Uh, here we go. Number five. Oh, number five. Okay, we gotta put that away. Okay, and then number five. Okay, we back him off a little bit. Here we do that. All right. Like so. Oh, ouch. Now, why is he mad at me? You're gonna get 15% each time, huh? Okay, so I should be able to get four or five feeds in on him, so we may have to knock him down one more time. Uh, this is a nice way to do it, though. You guys are right to just, uh, you know, have uh, Kodiak there kind of tank the hits. I just hope these boars don't walk into me. That would be a horrible thing to push me right into his horns again. I didn't re realize he had a bleed effect on him. I think I've only messed with the bulls once or twice. You don't want to mess with the bull because you're going to get the horns. That's what they say. It might be a little dark for you guys. Let me turn my light on for you. Sorry about that. I completely forgot about it. Obviously. Uh, we get three more feeds in here, but that's not going to be enough to get him tamed. Oh, uh, boy, yeah, it's going to be really tight. The chickpeas are working pretty good, though. Rushes would be great. I probably need, what, three or four, and he'd be done. It's okay, he's at 75%. Uh, it's going to take exactly the amount of time we have, so let's go ahead and get ready again. Three Kodiak, so he can heal up. Let's be very careful about this. We kind of came in here like so, didn't we? There we go. One more feed out of have him, and then we'll have our bull for our stockyard. <laughs> nice. Eventually, once it's all walled in, I would like to have a few of our animals just kind of roaming about in the whole place and see just kind of what happens, you know. Oh, um, I don't know. And you can saddle these guys. It's a tier two saddle that we put on him. He's pretty handsome. Level 26. That's pretty nice. Let's get you back onto behavior, passive, and attack your target. Uh,. Do I not have Jenny on my shoulder? Oh, I don't. <laughs> okay. Hopefully... Did I throw her on the... I didn't throw her on the ground. What is this light over here? Do you see this light over here? Is that really a treasure? Oh my gosh, look at how light that bright that is. That is really bright.
All right, we need to get him back home. Okay, he's right behind me. We'll get him home, and then I need to see if I've got time for anything else. It's uh, actually getting to be at the end of my record day. It took me a little longer to do things than I thought, which is pretty typical for the game, right? I mean, that's that's the best part. You get kind of caught up and lost in what you're doing, and time flies, and you're having a good time. I don't know. I'll have to look back at the video and see if I could find her, find out where she came loose. Yay, yay, yay. It's so dense through in here. The jungle is thick. <laughs> God, Jenny, what did I do with you? I want to I say I threw her off of me here. At the taming pen. But I think that was off camera. I don't know. Let me know if you remember what I did with her. And I will look at uh, the video to see if I can find her that way. Try to save you, Seagull. Hmm. All right. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, do hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I do look forward to talking to you again next time.